I'm going to begin by talking about a work called Chant, which I wrote uh, just prior to 2000. It was a commission from the BBC for a call towards the millennium, and they invited composers to write for specific buildings in the United Kingdom, and I was offered the plum, I think, which was York Minster. Extraordinary, extraordinary space. And I remember when I took this commission on, I went up to York and spent about an hour just walking around the York Minster, assimilating the space, thinking a lot about the acoustic space. And indeed, there was no music being performed, but I remember actually clicking my fingers constantly just to get a sense of what that building ultimately could be about. And I'm going to talk a little bit now about I mean, talk about idea and process, which I know Richard and Diana have spoken about this morning. And it's very important for, in, in composition, I think, to, have a, to find a rationale, a way to realize an idea. Now, the idea I had in this, uh, in this building was to take um, some old music, which in fact was part of the commission. So I'd given that as a sort of start. And I decided to, to actually use the music of Hildegard of Bingen, who's famous, most famous, for actually creating some of the most extraordinary monodies, um, beautiful melodic lines, which, which uh, became the, really the, the, her, the mainstay of her output. And I decided on one of these, which is a, a hymn called Ave Generosa, and basically decided, rather than using the monody structure, to actually splinter it into seven or eight different layers that could be actually sung simultaneously to create this very rich kind of heterophonic texture that could ultimately fill the, the minster. Now, I worked very closely with my colleague David Shepard of Sound Intermedia, who in fact is responsible for the project I'm going to talk about uh, uh, shortly. Um, and we actually worked out a way of projecting what in fact 12 voices, 12 Amplify voices, to various speaker locations throughout the minster. So the actual strands of this very complex um, heterophonic texture were actually projected into the uh, space. And depending on where you were actually sitting, you would actually hear a different aspect of the, my reworking of, of Hildegard's music. Now, what I did here also was to score the piece for an orchestra. The commission was actually for the BBC Philharmonic as well as the BBC Singers. The singers always assume a solo role. They are actually above the orchestra. The orchestra provides a kind of harmonic resonance to the voices and is always actually below, which gave, gave the piece a sort of a, a, a stra strange um, harmonic character. And this is something that which only would have happened um, as, as, the, as the piece was conceived for, for York Minster. If it was a normal concert hall, I, I don't think I would have thought about the orchestra in this way. But the resonance and acoustic of, of the Minster provided me with, this, with, this, with, a, with, with a basis for the sort of foundation of the harmonic language, which you'll hear radiating off the voices. <laughs> 